Hey everyone, uh, so Hurricane Florence is on its way. Uh, supposed to, I'm just trying to get prepared uh, and get everything anchored down. Um, but uh, it's kind of hard to do that, kind of short notice without ordering a bunch of supplies uh, that I know that work. So I had to modify and make things, uh, uh, make things work. So I made some uh, cable anchors. Uh, this is one eighth inch steel bar, one inch wide. I cut a point to it and then drilled two holes to run the steel cable through. Um, this is probably probably about an inch uh, from the point uh, to where the holes are and then probably another inch and a half or so uh, down here. So basically this is going to be driven into the ground. Uh, kind of at a about a uh, I'd say 75 to 80 degree angle uh, kind of at an upwards and then when tension is pulled on the cable it levers and catches into the dirt um, and then this cable itself is probably let's see uh, probably about 18 inches from the end of this loop to the bottom of this anchor. Then I have a steel pipe uh, with a groove that is cut into it to receive the foot of this anchor. Hold on, uh, I just made this one. There we go. Um, to receive the foot of this anchor and it's got a little bit of a wiggle. That way it doesn't get caught when you pull the pipe out. Um, so yes. Uh, we're going to drive it into the ground. Oh, um, another tip. Uh, these are just hex head nuts uh, or hex nuts um, because the normal crimps that you use for steel cable are stupid expensive, but these five cent nuts work out great. Um, so yes, uh, place this in the end of the uh, steel pipe. Now, basically, it kind of looks like a harpoon, and we're going to drive it into the ground with this side up. Uh, that way, when it pulls, it pulls um, and try to anchors itself into the ground. Uh, like I said, probably about a 75 to 80 degree angle. Stab that in the ground, and then All right, now that it's driven into the ground, you still see the cable right here. Um, give the pipe a tap so we could kind of wiggle it out. Ugh. Just like that. And now pull on the cable And we're driving it in the direction that we're going to pull the cable from. So, let's see. There we go. Now that is anchored into the ground, which is great. And get it off this pipe. Now I can take and drive this into, or, uh, hook this into a hoop house that I have, or um, biggest thing is, is also my bee boxes. I'll do that over there for them. Um, that way it will, uh, <clears throat> that way it will, uh, I could take a ratchet strap and go over from this cable over the bee box to the next cable and ratchet strap everything down. The winds are supposed to be, last I saw was, well, I heard gusts up to 130 miles an hour. Probably won't happen here uh, because I'm pretty, 
I'm not too far inland, like uh, the mountains or anything, but Piedmont, uh, the eastern side of the Piedmont region. But yeah, wanted to prepare, get that done, and get these anchors in and uh, get everything situated uh, to remove these anchors. So it's a bulb planting auger bit and we're going to go kind of beside it, the anchor. There we go. And then slide this pipe back through the loop. And give it a good tug. There you go. So there's uh, there's the anchor, um, and yeah, um, I hope that helps. But uh, y'all stay safe um, and get your stuff uh, anchored down. But anyway, uh, any questions? Feel free. I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Uh, I still got a bunch of things to prepare uh, for uh, this hurricane before it gets here. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.